So this video um, is all about um, why I love using SimJS to make educational games um, and why I would encourage anyone else to have a look at it if they're interested in making games. So um, I started uh, teaching in the year 2000 and um, I wanted to make uh, educational games to support my children in my class uh, on the learning objective they're doing that day when they get home. So and I wanted it to be free so that um, all children had an equal opportunity um, uh, and uh, I originally made the games in Flash and then um, about six years ago I was looking for an alternative and came across uh, Dan Zen's um, ZimJS which is just brilliant. So hopefully you'll see some things um, in this video that will get you interested in ZimJS. Uh, so here we've got, we're going to use some physics here. So I'm going to make this, here's my order I've got coming and I'm going to make a sandwich filling with a value of three because this gentleman would like a sandwich made with three. You can see what, what it uses box 2D and ZimJS um, to, to do that. And if I press on that customer, there we go. So a number of things happening here. We've got new orders coming through on a interval. We've got animation, a coin animating to wobble a, a tips jar. And we've got physics on this side. Um, so all done with Zim. Let's have a look at something else. Um, so this is Car Crusher. Counting forwards, what is the next multiple of 10? So uh, this smoke is a sprite sheet and Zim is, it cuts up the sprite sheet and randomly runs it um, uh, to, to give you that uh, smoky effect. Um, Counting uh, forwards, how far is it to the next multiple? Yeah, four and six, let's do some tricks. Seven and six. So these, all these cars are two frame sprite sheets and he's just moving it on with Speaking a timer driving. interval. Uh, to make it look like the car is crushing them. Counting backwards, what is the next multiple of 10? Counting backwards, um, how far is it? Sorry, I'm just skipping quickly. Just, just, so again, lot, lots. each of these is nice cloned and to make a long row of cars. And you can see, so for example, um, uh, well, let's see if we can see which one. So you see this yellow car here, it's just a rectangle um, uh, sprite sheet where there's a frame that looks like that and there's a frame that looks like that. And as the car drives along, it uses an interval to, to flip it from that frame to that frame and it makes it look like it's crushed. Let's go and look at something else. So spooky sounds. So I'm just gonna choose these sounds quickly. Right, okay. So again, we've got sprite sheets here, look. So. Uh, the flames are lots and lots of frames of a flame cut up on a sprite sheet and played in order. We've got the eyes are the same idea. That's um, uh, a sprite sheet. We've got the, the um, uh, bat as well, a sprite sheet of the bat at different moments of its animation. And Zim cuts it up and plays it the way you want it. What am I looking for? And I can drag and that animates. So I'm going to wrong one. And an interval, a random interval, is making the lightning come at different times. Um, what else is interesting on here that you use about Zim? Um, yeah, so we're using drag to drag these. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's have a look at something else. Um, just whip down to the bottom to look at one of the newer ones. Uh, let's go. Right, so um, this one is a reading game, uh, but here again we're using animate, but what's happening is Initially, this X scale is very thin. The scale X is very thin, and it's being animated as it's being animated across. The, the X scale goes to full size, and then it's animating uh, to be thin again. And then there's a mask to make it to chop off the edges to make it look like it's a nice square card that moves across. I've probably missed my shed now, haven't I? Gosh, I don't want to keep you waiting. Mm, come on, shed. Where are you? I get it wrong. You can see it does that. Uh, and this is a, a green rectangle with curved corners, and these are these little see the little lights shooting up. They're rectangles that are being animated, and their scale is being changed. You see the little lights? That's just rectangles. Um, yeah, super duper. Uh, I think that's enough of that. So let's have a look at Zim itself. So. If I was getting started with Zim, things that I certainly did um, is I started by looking at the uh, the Zim bits, um, where 
important ideas in in programming are broken down in, into manageable morsels. So here we've got randomly sorted shapes and um, words and, and names, and you can you've got drag and you, and, and if you look at the code for this, Dan breaks it up into. Uh, you know, with lots of see the Greek, the commented out bits. So he's describing how it works to help you make sense of what's happening. Um, also, I really like the documentation. I come up here um, to the documentation. Um, so uh, we saw rectangle earlier. One. Well, let me just type rectangle. So I can type in some. Oh, how do I use rectangle again? Let's go find out how to use rectangle. So do you remember the beams of light in the um, in the in that game with the, the UFO? So this is all. This section is all about rectangle. I've just gone and closed it just to show you where it is. There we go. And these are all like the power words, the variables you need uh, to make a rectangle. And then Dan's got some examples of the code that you use for rectangle. Lots of examples. And then all the parameters, all of those power words are described. Um, what they do and I, I find myself coming back all the time to find lots of new wonderful ideas of uh, new things that Dan's done to make it helpful and then down here you've got extra uh, you've got how it links to Zim bits and you've got videos and descriptions of how to use them um, so really powerful stuff so I'd recommend anybody anybody's interested in uh, making some 2D games take a look at Zim it's awesome have fun <laughs>